Um, this particular project that we're working on is uh, looking at hops as a potential specialty crop. Um, there's a lot of interest in it right now, especially with the microbrewers that are going on. So this project was basically set up just to evaluate the relative success of hops in Nebraska. We're going to do some qualitative analysis, so how good is the hops on an annual basis, which is critical for the, the microbrewers in order to, to know whether or not they're going to have similar product from year to year. As well as we want to get an idea of what the productivity is going to be. So this particular planting that you see is one of our uh, research plots that we have. We have five plots across the state, but this one is more set up like a commercial hops production operation. So it has a 20-foot pole system, trellis system, uh, and we're going to be using this one specifically for monitoring for diseases, insects, as well as um, for some spray treatments because um, hops is new to Nebraska, so we're not sure how uh, good the herbicides are going to work in our soils that are labeled for hops, as well as we want to see if there's any um, damage that can occur on these plants. So we have a good team of people coming together on this project. So Keenan Amison, which is heading up the, the breeding, so he's looking at maybe uh, finding some wild hops that has adapted to Nebraska and maybe breeding in some, some qualities to that. Um, we have Kim Todd that's going to help us with the extension education on this. Charlie Shapiro is a, a soil scientist that's going to be helping us with the nutrition and, and the soils. And then we have um, Sam Wartman, who's a new professor, and he's looking at nitrogen fate. So we're going to see how much nutrients taken up by the plant or what uh, disappears, as well as some environmental parameters for us. Uh, a lot of the hops that are grown were originally developed in the Pacific Northwest, and so they have a lot of adaptation traits and pest tolerance to things that are important in that growing environment. And those varieties don't necessarily perform very well in our region. And so my goal with our breeding program is to try and take some of the brewing quality characteristics of those Pacific Northwest varieties and incorporate some of our local locally adapted or native germplasm. So, so we have some hops that are believed to have fallen off of trains several hundred years ago uh, as trains migrated across the U.S. They germinated, established local populations of hops. And so the thought is that those hop varieties, those local wild varieties, tend to have more or better adaptation traits. And so they may have uh, pest tolerance and abiotic stress tolerance that's really important to growing hops in our region. Some of the things that we're looking at is we're just growing it the across a variety of areas in Nebraska. Um, the hops of production mainly is on the eastern side of the state right now, but we want to see how well it would be out in the exposed areas. One of the problems with hops is its uh, relative um, problems with some different types of diseases, and one of the benefits we might have in Nebraska is is a lot of air movement. Uh, which will prevent disease problems, but on the other hand, it might cause some problems with the quality of, of the cones themselves. So with the project, we have four different sites that we're looking at, um, wanting to compare elevations, um, exposure, and the types of soils that we have uh, in, in, in the areas. But ultimately, we want to see the relative success of hops in Nebraska and whether that there is a commercial viability to it uh, or if it's just going to be mainly just a specialty crop for small growers.